Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Nikkel Williams. Way 31's Nicole Zedek joins us live now from the Limestone Recreational Facility. And Nicole, legislators are really focusing their energy now on this prison problem. Well, yes, they're under a deadline to figure out how to solve the state prison problem. The Alabama Department of Corrections is named in a lawsuit filed by the U.S. Department of Justice, calling the state prison system unconstitutional, citing overcrowded, unsafe, and basically unlivable conditions for the inmates. Now, some prisons are almost falling apart after years of neglect. The Limestone Correctional Facility is one of the newest prisons in all of Alabama, but even it's almost 40 years old built in the 80s. We've got some crumbling uh, infrastructure when it comes to our, our larger prisons and uh, we've, we've got to uh, replace them. That's the goal of the upcoming special legislative session, replacing and building new prisons. A narrow topic for a complex issue. We're disappointed that Governor Ivey is limiting the upcoming special session to prison infrastructure instead of focusing on more substantive solutions to Alabama's broken criminal justice system. The policy and advocacy director for ACLU Alabama, Dylan Nettles, says building new prisons is only throwing money at the problem instead of coming up with solutions. New prisons are a band-aid fix, and what we really need is for leaders to step up and lead and to come up with creative, robust solutions. Senator Arthur Orr agrees that state prisons should include more rehabilitation programs, but that's not the point of the special session. It's a fair point, but the point is our, our prisons date back to the 30s and 40s and 50s that we have that we'll be replacing. The goal of the focus session is to pass the new prison bill through both the House and Senate. Governor Ivey is very focused on trying to get this prison bill through. The ACLU argues new prisons won't solve the problem, and the special session would be better spent discussing prison reform and rehabilitation. We do not uh, you know, need new prisons in order to do any of those things, and it's important that Alabamians know that th their tax dollars are what will fund these facilities. Senator Orr says even though taxpayer dollars would be spent towards building new prisons, it would still cost much less than if the federal government took control of the prison system. And he expects all of the bills discussed at next week's legislative session to pass both the House and the Senate. Reporting live in Limestone County, Nicole Zedek, Way 31 News.